that's funny. That's real funny. You know what? You are a first-class ride, I have to tell you. You see. They're coming, Grandma. They're coming. Come on, Grandma. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay. They're here. Okay, okay. Come on, okay, okay. Go on out and say hello. Hi, I'm Debbie Bannister, and you must be Miss Alice. Alice. Just call me Alice. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to know you. You too. Oh, we've heard so much about you, I feel I already do. Oh, well, not half as much as I've heard about you, and I bet you're Travis. Go on, son. She won't bite. Oh, <laughs> there's no rush. You can shake hands later. <gasps> Is that your dog? Oh. Hi there. Oh, I just love those. What's his name? Rosie. Oh, Rosie's a girl, huh? Oh, you're a beauty. Rosie wants to play with Frisbee, huh? Go ahead and throw it. Oh, yes! Right over there! Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here! Bring it. Just like you, Mom. It's fun. She works hard. She's organized. Hell, she's vice president of a bank. What did I tell you? She got rid of my nightmare. How'd she do that? Just by being there. Johnny, I'm not saying she isn't everything you think. I'm just saying, for once in your life, don't rush into getting married. You've done that four times already. Well, this is different. How's it different? Every woman that I've ever been with wanted to change me. Now, she don't want to change a thing about me. Well, I hope you're right. But I have seen you fall hard and fast before, and you're no fun to pick back up. Whew. Kid throws a mean frisbee. Got my passing on. Well, <laughs> you get along mighty well with kids. Oh. You must come from a big family. Oh, no, no, I, but I have two kids of my own. Oh? Mm -hmm. Johnny said you weren't married. Yeah, my husband's deceased. Oh. Didn't I tell you that? No. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, he was killed in a car accident a few years ago. And your husband died before uh, Johnny's even born, right? Yes, yeah. well, I guess we both know how tough it is to raise kids without a father. No easier without a mother. Is this what you meant by keeping a low profile? Now, this may not look organized, but I know where everything is. Everything in this pile right here, that has to do with that deal in the Middle East. You have stuff going on in all these places? I've had calls from all those places. Now, this one's finished. And this deal in Guyana, that's just starting to heat up. I'm supposed to fly a team down there as backup for a military coup that's being put together in Toronto. These are the guys I picked out for the gig. Oh, this is just amazing. All those jobs from that one little ad in the magazine. Look at this. I've been gone five days and there's 78 messages waiting. You have reached the headquarters of World Security Group. Please leave a message after the tone. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this uh, this Bob Black from Bryan, Texas. Look, uh, this is my third call, by the way. I'm looking for work. I was in the Corps back in 69. Uh, listen, I've also got a gun collection I want to sell. Now, first thing I'll do is have that guy send me his DD-214. That proves that he was in Nam. It also tells me what he did in the Corps. I need you, Johnny. <laughs> Never stop. You have reached the headquarters of World Security Group. God, Please you can leave make a, a fortune with that little business. And most of them are flakes. Either that, they don't have any money. Suppose you didn't have to worry about any of that. If I didn't have to spend half my life chasing down dead ends, I'd be a damn millionaire. My phone bill alone is almost two grand a month. Hey, would you maybe? Be interested in being millionaires together? I got a Watts line at the bank. I can make all the initial calls for free. I weed out all those flakes. I can find out if they have any money. How can you do that? Just run a credit check. I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, 
All right, these are the ones that you uh, call back. And these are the rejects. And uh, you're going to need some more filing cabinets. And do you know what else you need? No, please. I'm spent. A title. Like Captain or Colonel. Well, I tell you what I need. I need you to get a divorce and move in with me. I know, but it's just not going to happen overnight. So why don't you move down to Gainesville? Gainesville? Yes, because then we could see each other every day. And you wouldn't be that much further from Travis. Does anyone ever say no to you? <laughs> yes, I'm calling for Mr. Bob Black. Yeah? This is Debbie Bannister from World Security Group, returning your call. Oh, yeah. Fine. You said you have a gun collection for sale? Yeah. But listen, there's something else I want to talk to you about, and it's not the sort of thing I want to leave on the answering machine. It's about my wife. about the warmest welcome wagon I've ever seen. Only warm? I've been meaning to tell you that I called that guy in Texas, Bob Black. Who? The guy with the guns he wants to sell. Here, there's the list. And he's sending us a copy of his DD-214 for us to have on file. Well, that's a lot of guns for 5,000. So should I tell him that you're interested? Absolutely. Oh, good. Well, maybe you can go down there after you finish with Harley. That reminds me, what should I wear over there? To meet my parents? Yeah. I'd say that you're overdressed as it is. You have reached the headquarters of World Security Group. All of our operatives are on assignment. Please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. <laughs> How does somebody start out here and wind up vice president of a bank? This is America, dear heart. Hey, everybody. Hi, honey. Say hello to Colonel Hearn. Dad. Ray Larson. Howdy. Yeah. This here's my mom, Edna. <laughs> And my hi. sister. Oh, hi. Cheryl. Hi. She lives in the trailer out back with her two boys. Well, we've heard a lot about you, girl. Yeah, I brag a lot. Uh, I tell you one thing. Anybody that can keep Harley Pierce from beating up on my grandkids is... He's a damn hero, as far as I'm concerned. He's right out there. You seen him when he drove up? I didn't know he lived so close. Well, if he lived across town, he wouldn't be no bother at all. As it is, those kids, they can't even go out and play in the backyard. Well, don't you worry, Mama, because Big John's going to handle it. I'll go over there and break his arm right now if you want me to. He's got 